I want to talk about reference paths in Studio. And one of the places that I use reference paths the most is to help me take my trace captures and clean them up a little bit. So let's take a look at that. Let's say I have this catch tray that somebody made or that I made before and I can't find the file for it and I want to make basically the exact same thing or maybe even a matching nesting one. So I'm going to use trace for that. I can put this in here and I can use my pen and because I'm going to be cleaning it up I don't have to be that precious about this. So I'm just going to trace this with my pen and then I will use the trace app. I can go to the trace app and uh, I am just going to get this in frame. If I hit capture, here we can see I've got my traced moon shape, uh, which is great. And I'm just going to save it to my files. Uh, I'm not even going to try to do any cleanup in trace because I'm going to do it in studio. So I'm just going to call this tray. Great. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to do it on my computer now. Now in studio, I can import it to my design. When I do that, we can see that it's a little bit imperfect. Uh, whenever you trace something, oftentimes it's there's a little bit of texture to your pen line, or in this case, I was a little bit fast and loose with it because I knew I was gonna clean it up. So let's place the object. And then what we wanna do is in the parameter panel, we choose this option that says set as reference and lock. And it does pretty much what it says it does is now it's a reference shape. Uh, it's behind, it's gonna get drawn behind everything else and it's kind of blocked. So it's a little bit harder to select. Um, that's great because it makes designing on top of it so much easier. So I'm going to place a circle, and I'm going to try to line it up with this trace drawing that I made. And then I'm going to try to get the size just right. So it turns out maybe it's an oval. Maybe it's a little rotated. And I can use the arrow keys just to nudge my shape along. Uh, and I feel pretty good about that. So I can move on to making the cutout part. I'll just duplicate my shape, scale it, because I think it's a little bit smaller over there. So now if I select both of these circles and I go into Shapeshifter, I can grab just the part that's the tray, make shape, and now I have a perfect geometrically generated version of this tray as opposed to the version I drew, which maybe had a little bit of wiggly wobbliness to it. Um, if I go to plan mode, I can change this to be an outside cut. Uh, I can change this to be the depth of the material that I'm actually gonna be cutting and also choose a more accurate bit. Uh, and then in review mode, I can see what that looks like. But the last thing I wanted to say is, you'll note in plan mode, my trace strong isn't in here. And the reason for that is reference paths don't get imported on origin. So they're really great as design reference. You can be drawing on top of them, you can be using them as construction lines, and then when you're ready to cut things, you really don't need them anymore, so they don't show up on origin.